In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our textures from our projections and go ahead and merge them into our diffuse textures so we can have really nice diffuse and a really nice normal map already set up. So let's go ahead and open up the Maya Sword tutorial folder. We're going to go to our source images folder. And we're first thing we want is we want that UV snap sword that we created in an earlier video. And then we need to go to the projections folder and we're going to go ahead and open up the diffuse textures that we projected from our previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the UV snap sword, make sure that it's set to the layer one. Then I'll go to the first handle layer and I'm just going to go ahead and use the selection tool and hit control plus A. Then hit control plus C to copy the whole thing. And then I'm just going to come over here and just hit control plus V. That'll paste it in this window. And then I'll go ahead and copy this one as well. So with selection tool, hit control plus A to select all, hit control plus C to copy it and go over here to the UV snap sword and hit control plus V. You'll notice that will paste to a new layer. So you can already see our UV snaps are located in the same area that our projection was set up. And this is actually the wrong UV snap shot setup that I have here, but that's okay. It's kind of irrelevant to the video. So let's go ahead and take this first. All we have to do is use the magic wand tool. So you can hold this down, select magic wand, and with layer one, we'll start here. So I'll go ahead and hide layer two real fast. I'm gonna select layer one, use the magic wand select tool, and I'm gonna right click, go down to select inverse. That'll select this little section here. Then I'll right click on this and I'll say layer via copy. Then I can go ahead and select that layer and hit delete because I don't need it anymore. Then I can go up to the layer two that we hid unhide it and I'm going to do the same thing. Just a marquee select. Then I'm also going to want to get rid of these black areas as well. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select them as well. Each of these little black areas while holding down shift and clicking on them. Then I'll go ahead and right click, choose select inverse. That'll select just this wood here. And I can go ahead and right click on it and say layer via copy. Then I'll go ahead and hide that layer and then just delete it. So now we have them in there. We can see that the colors here need to be matched up a little bit better. Our background color does. And we can go ahead and do that. We can take the marquee select tool. I'm going to choose the background layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and marquee select. And I'll start with this first layer here. So I'll just go ahead and marquee select this section. And then I'll, what you want to do is kind of zoom into your texture. Find a darker area. Not too dark, not the darkest of the dark. <laughs> but just kind of pick an area that's sort of dark. Not the brightest texture of the area. You could also kind of go in between somewhere. Kind of pick a color inside of this area of the texture. Then I'll go ahead and fit on screen. Then I'll use my paint bucket tool and I'll just paint in there and that'll kind of blend this in a bit better going around the ropes. Of course you won't even see it. This is to just try and catch some of the bleeding coming off of the texture a bit. That's really the only purpose for it. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to use a marquee select and we'll go ahead and select this section here with this wood. This wood here seems to have gotten to be a lighter hue than this wood here. So I'll go ahead and do two different ones. So I'll go ahead and select that. Go ahead and choose the eyedropper tool. I'll go ahead and click some of the wood in here and then I'll use a paint bucket tool and just paint. And that's all I'm doing is just trying to blend this in a little bit better. And I'll just do this with the final one. So actually because it's already boxed in, I don't have to marquee select this. I can just use the eyedropper tool, select something in here, and then I'll go ahead and just paint it. And you'll notice it'll paint just in that area. So this looks pretty good. I don't have to do anything here and I don't have to do anything here because we didn't create any textures for those. If you did, you'll want to go ahead and do what we just did with these textures down here. Now that that's all set up, let's go ahead and resize this down because our textures are finished. We're done with this. We want to go ahead and resize it to half the resolution. So I'll drop down image. I'll go ahead and choose image size. And then I'm going to drop this down by half. So I'm going to go to 2048 by 2048. I'll just have it set to by cubic automatic and that'll choose the best reduction method for us and then click OK. It'll think for a minute and it'll go ahead and shrink it down for us. And we can right click, we can flatten our image. So go ahead and choose flatten the image and I'll go ahead and discard the hidden layers. Now I also had a sword texture for the blade that I created kind of in between videos and you can go ahead and create one now if you'd like. And I put that inside this testing folder under textures I have the sword underscore D and I'll go ahead and just drop this in here, select everything, hit control plus C, then go over to our UV snap for our sword and hit control V. And I'll just go ahead and grab the section of this that I wanted. So I'll zoom in a bit and I just wanted this section right here. So I'll go ahead and just grab that and then I will right click on it and say layer via copy. 
Now I can just hide this and just grab it and delete it. And then right click and flatten the image. And this is good to go. We'll just save it as a PNG. That's fine for now. So I'll just go ahead and save as. And I will go to the images folder because this is a final image for this object. Go ahead and open this up and I'll just save this as the sword underscore D and we'll choose a JPG. So actually a PNG, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I can click save. This one's good to go. I'll use no compression, none interlace, and click OK. So this one's done. Now let's go ahead and set up our normal. So I'll go ahead and close out all these diffuse textures. So I don't need to look at any of these anymore. And we want all of our normals. So let's go ahead and grab our handle one normal, normal handle two normal. And I also had a normal for the blade. So I'll go ahead and grab this and set this over here. So I'll just drag everything over to this first one to keep it simple. So I'm just going to grab these and put them into this one. So I'll grab the handle two and do the same thing I did with the diffuse colors. Just copy everything, bring it over here, hit control V. And then I can go ahead and just marquee select this section here because that's all I really want. Maybe I'll grow that up a little bit more and just right click and say layer via copy. And I'll just unhide that and just delete it. This is good. And I also one of that blade, but I need to resize this first because I already resized my normal. So I'll go ahead and right click, flatten this image, and then I'll go ahead and say image size 2048 by 2048. So I'll reduce it in half. It's going to give you a better blend, make the texture look nicer. And then I'll go ahead and fit this on screen. And I will go ahead and grab that blade texture as well, which might not be showing up very well in the video, but it's there. It's just a very subtle blade effect. Hit control V, and then I just want to go ahead and grab this portion of the blade here. So right click layer via copy and then I'll just grab that and delete it. And there we go. This texture is complete. So I'll go ahead and right click flatten the image and then I'll save this out as a PNG. So file, save as, go up to the images folder and I will choose PNG and then I'll go ahead and grab that and I'll just call this sword underscore in and that'll work just fine and save. No compression, not interlaced, and that's good to go. So we're going to close this out. So next video, we're going to go ahead and apply all of our textures to our sword. And we're going to go ahead and finish out this sword game object. We're also going to scale this down and talk a little bit about how the Unreal Engine 4 works with scaling as opposed to the previous Unreal Engine. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com. And click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.